this little bundle of wires is a four points uh, load sales scale which uh, with an HX711 is in the amplifier an LCD screen and an NRF allows it to transmit the data out my first test before anything else is of course to make this more stable I'm gonna put a shield on top of here and just solder the wires put the HX711 on top of this and make a loom for the NRF now the video is not about that what I want to do is find a way to make this scale calibrate itself meaning that when it wakes up when you power it on even if you're on top of it as you will do with a regular human scale it will still be able to tell the weight without having the first stage of calibration I got some ideas and I'm gonna play around and see how it works this will be the major of this video so first let's sort this mess out I sorted the first part which is the base for the HX711 and now I'm gonna upload the same code here to here and uh, see if it works if it works I'll move to the next part no videos in the stages in the middle since my kid was in the room and I couldn't make a video so screen is soldered here the NRF and we got uh, screw terminals for the four points of the load sails that are under this plate I'll lift it up in a second and make a video of it so and I added another button here which will help us to do the calibration so now let's make some code and this is how it looks like underneath in order to explain the calibration process we need to go over some basic things the received data from the HX711 is a 24-bit resolution analog to digital read in order to know what's that in pounds or in kilo we need to have a ratio factor. So if we read the data from the HX711 and then place three kilograms on the scale and read that data again, the delta between them divided by three will give us the ratio factor we need. So now let's go over the code. This is the default ratio factor we use. This is the known three kilograms weight for the calibration. The default ratio factor is made for pounds, so in order to get that in kilograms, we need to have it divided by this number. The data is stored in the EPRO, so it won't be lost on power down. The first address is used to flag if the calibration process was done before. If it was not, the user is prompting the screen and we wait for a button press. If data exists, it's read into the variables. Next, the scale is initiated and the scale factor is set and if the button is pressed we go into calibration state we prompt the user and wait for the release of the button the first read is done by calling the scale tear which sets the current read into the offset of the HX711 making it the zero point next we retrieve the offset and store it in the current offset variable so we can store it in the EPRO. The user is asked to place a 3 kg weight on the scale and press the button again. Of course, we wait for the button press. Once the button is pressed, we go into a while loop. In the loop, the data is read and then compared to the desired 3 kg. If it's not, we check on which direction we need to move in order to get that goal. It took me some time to get the logic right. At times, we might jump over the goal weight since we move in big jumps. This is what the flip direction count was added for. Once we jump direction more than twice in a row, we lower the scale by dividing it by 10. After we set the direction and scale, we increase the size of the factor and then set it as the new scale. These three lines are in charge of a small animation that is shown on the screen to show you that it's still working on the process. If we reach the desired weight, we save the data in the EPRO and set done to true to exit the while loop. We set the offset to the current offset so we don't need to use the that tear function, yet we do get the right offset on the scale. Now one interesting fix I had to do, and it's to do with the way the absolute function work, is that at times I would have get a minus 0, 0.00 on the scale and that's because the absolute only works on two digits after the decimal point so this way I would prevent it from happening and now let's see it in action 
as you can see, I switch it on and it says must calibrate press the button. The reason for that is the EEPROM was reset, the flag. So now let's press the button. It asks you to clear the scale and place 5 kilograms. I got this nice weight, which is exactly 3 kilograms, give and take. And now I'm asked to press the button. It will do the thinking, which calculating the ratio. And there you go, we got 3 kilos. And now I can lift it up, 0, put it back in place, 3 kilos. And the coolest thing is that if I do this and then plug it back in, no need for calibration, it's on top and it knows it got 3 kilos. That is brilliant. Works as expected. Remember I mentioned you can send the information through the NRF? So I got another Arduino connected to my computer via serial and I'm reading the information that the SCAL is sending. As you can see, it's presented here on the screen. But that's a story for all other videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, leave a comment or press the thumbs up. See you next time.